Yo, what up gamers? Welcome to my Hardcore Edison Nuzlocke Nuzlocke Challenge. In the League of Legends Nuzlocke Challenge, failure means your champion is disabled and you cannot play them again. The two main versions are that failure is either losing on a champion or dying on a champion. In this Hardcore Edison Nuzlocke Nuzlocke Challenge, I'm not allowed to either lose or die, meaning that even going deathless will still disqualify my champion if it is a loss, and vice versa. I'm also limited to only playing bot lane with ADC champions, so my initial pool is limited to only 21 champions. However, we've introduced a rule where if I get a pentacle, then that is my one chance at reviving a champion. We're starting this challenge at the very bottom of the ladder in Iron 4, and we'll see how far we can climb before we lose every ADC. Will I get the bronze, silver, gold? I honestly have no idea because I've never tried anything like this, but I'm excited to find out. Keep watching to enjoy this journey with me, and subscribe to keep up with future episodes. Yo, what up gamers, I'm Vipro Dark, and welcome to episode number 16 of Trying Not to Die Like My Life Depends On It. Gonna we'll be playing Draven in this game, which is not really the ideal champion of staying alive. He's more of a specializer in making sure other people don't stay alive. But we'll do what we can. Chilling here with my buddy Nautilus, running the heal to keep me safe. Running the cleanse so we can escape the Lulu W, and if they had exhaust, I would also be able to cleanse that, but it seems they don't. Also be useful for the end of EQ later on in the game. I don't want to miss farm. This can only end you oh, nice try, buddy. Wait, don't keep going. Don't keep going. Can't follow that up. Bro, get back here. Oh, my lord. Alright, there we go. That was a good trade, at least. Even if only onto the Lulu. Man, it has been so long since I played Draven. The hell? Okay, I'm gonna go place a ward. I'm getting some suspicious vibes off of the killings movements right now. Seems we're good though. Actually, we see Jack's top side. Okay, this could be good. There we go. Let's click. That's fine. So I'm pretty sure the Jax can't already be back here. Is this Nautilus gonna dive? Because if he gets aggro, we can definitely dive here. Here we go. Perfect. Huge. Well played, buddy. I'm gonna leave the wave here, though. Can this mean to stop chasing? This is not part of the plan. Thank you. Okay, that's really good. Gonna drop him a wall plate in the chat. Okay, so I'm gonna do... Just Vamp Scepter Rush, just because I really don't want to die, so I just, I just want to be healthy as much as possible. I also don't want to waste gold on potions, though, when I've already got vamps up there. Driven gets a lot of healing just off of lifesteal with his Q, so... <coughs> potions might be a little bit overkill at this point. So, the build that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be actually rushing Essence Reaver. We're only going the vamp up there just, you know, for some sustain because Driven has huge synergy with it. Eventually, it'll build into Eclipse. Alright, these axes take a lot of concentration. Alright, uh, I want to place a ward pretty much immediately. Still holding on to both summoners, so I'm pretty safe. Don't be jealous. Mind the trap. An ally has been slain. An enemy has 
has been slain. Okay, we can just disengage there. Really good. Actually, um, I was gonna go for a trade there, but I don't have vision on Jax. Ooh. Yeah, I don't want to go too aggressive here. I don't have a trinket right now. Does Nautilus have a trinket? He does. I don't have my vision key bump or anything. I'll have to type it. Yeah, I have no clue where Jax is, so... Wait, she's literally just recalling while there's minions to be lost hit? What the hell? I'll definitely shove another wave. There we go. Might as well get the splitting two. Alright, I can just recall here. As long as I don't get ganked by Jax, we'll be perfectly fine here. Let's just finish the recall. There we go. We will slowing Drake. <laughs> Alright, it's just gonna run. Oh? Oh? Vegar? You should surely have the Jax here, right? Oh, come on, come on, come on. Get him. Vegar! Vegar! Oh my god, what am I witnessing? I'll try and help. Uh, there's not too much to do now. Okay, I'll place a ward here. Hello, Lulu. I can walk past her. There's no way I can really get sandwiched here. Perfection. Oh. Um, I don't want to fight. I want to live still. Fuck, Mr. Max. I will try and keep the wave frozen, but I'm gonna send this out for sure. But I'm pretty much back full HP. Oh, that was meant to be not attack on Lulu. Close. It's gonna ult for some harass, I guess. I meant to close that in sooner, but it works out. Still hit her twice. Didn't do too much damage, though. Okay, we see Jack's top side. Uh, Lulu? I can cleanse here if I get Polymorph. I didn't. Okay, nice. Good shit. We'll play Nautilus. Yeah, Lethal Top was actually pretty crazy on Draven. You get so much attack speed. If you just keep catching your axes, it's so much damage. And I've got enough gold for Essence Raven now. And fully enough, like I'm pretty sure the essence, the uh, sorry, the vamps up there didn't even really delay my essence rip at all, did it? So it works out pretty well. Can we save throughout the game and give me? Uh, it probably it's probably just the strongest laning item on Draven vamps up there is because it may not give you the most damage, but it's just so hard to uh, keep up with Draven sustain with that item. Alright, we we'll grab the berserkers. Now we should never be running out of mana again, which is why I'm running Triumph over the Presence of Mind. There 
There we go. Nice trade. Sorry, Nautilus. I didn't want to risk you not actually getting that cannon. Okay. Okay. Nice one. We forced the Kalen flash. Costs not a less his flash, but that's pretty worth it. Uh, I don't have vision right now. Actually, I shouldn't be buying pinks. A lot more pinks during this challenge than when I'm not playing this challenge. Gotcha. There we go. Jack shows up. I'm pretty sure we beat him. It's, actually, is he AFK now or what? Because he's really behind. Three levels down on a moment. That doesn't seem right. No, he's right there. Okay, he's gained 20 farms since we last saw him. I'm just going to get his turret over killing him, though. We can try and kill him off there. Uh, I'm not going to be able to get him. At least I... Uh, maybe I could, but it's going to take me so much time when I could just be shoving him this wave. Alright, good shit. Hmm, actually I should have stayed for Eclipse, my bad. Didn't think about how close I was to that. Anyway, we'll uh... Go impact the map on... Middle lane now. Yeah, you pretty much always want to run Cleanse on Draven into Lulu. Because Polymorph is just such a cock block for Draven, but cleanse means that whenever you're in a, like, a crucial fight that can actually lead to a kill, hello? You will always just be able to turn that into a kill. If they're relying on the Polymorph to keep them alive and win the fight. Okay, I got her an egg. Okay, we don't get the kill the end of it, unfortunately, but not yet, at least. <laughs> okay, nice. Gonna go place a ward about at the raptors. There we go. I guess I can go back bot soon. Seems to be a wave stacking up there. Don't need to go get it yet, though. No. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead towards that. Wait, now they start the fight? God damn it. Oh, I missed the axe. My bad. Another one. Okay, not bad, not bad. Let's get this Drake. What the hell? I missed my axes. So I got plenty of time to get the ball in time for getting that wave. Yes, I mean, that's pretty much just what you want to do. In the mid game, I get asked that a lot. Is like what to do in the mid game as an ADC. You just pretty much chill mid lane until you have to go back bot. Uh, in high relos, people will start shoving waves whenever you're not there, and so you'll have to respond to them a lot more often. In low elo, where they don't really do that, you get less farm, I guess, because you have to stay long run mid lane sharing farm with your mid laner. The enemies are also not getting farm, so it's fine. And just get a lot of time to pressure mid. And extend your lead. Or, uh, like, share your lead with the rest of the map, pretty much. Then you can go back bot when the wave finally just pushes by itself. I can probably shove another wave here too, but I want a ward at least.
Nice. Yeah, and since I'm so strong, I don't really have to worry about getting ganked here, because I can pretty much 1v1 anybody, even Jax. Man, I'm sitting on a lot of gold, I just realized. Okay, what do we want to grab next? Collector, maybe? Yeah, Collector will be good. Best chance of getting a Penta, too. So we can finally revive one of our Fallen Champions. Ooh, dude, I'm going to throw my ult here. Imagine if I get a double here with this ult. Oh, oh let's go. Double, baby. <laughs> nice. It could have almost been a triple, but Lulu was just barely not standing in range, too. Oh, well. Yeah, that Jax is on the Herald. I'm actually going to maybe try and see if I can kill him. Should be good. I got cleanse. Oh, hello. He's not alone. I don't want to do this, Herald, because my uh, Jax might have smite secure it. But we forced him off the Herald, so that's pretty good. I wasted a lot of time doing that just to not even get it. I can definitely go disrupt Jax on this. Raptors. In fact, I can just take them. If he wants them, we'll have to smite. Fucking hell, man. It's a shame the red isn't up too. Alright, I might just base again for Collector. Oh, what the hell? It's fucking Raptor. Okay, Vagar just based, so... So that means I can get a free midwave here. And apparently free kill too. There we go. Okay, Mumu got the Herald. Probably gonna die now though, he doesn't really have an escape there. And I'm not gonna help him. Um... I think I'll actually just grab QSS here. Wait, actually, do I really need it that much? Uh, nah, no, nah, fuck it. Might this world does grudge. So world does grudge will be nice to just give me some extra CDR. Um, thing is, E already slows. I've seen a lot of dreamers do this, but I don't know if it's actually that good. But I guess I'll just test it here. It's at least useful for, like, trying to help you land both sides of your ultimate since the first half will slow. Plus, the CDR by itself should be really good. It's not just about to slow this item. Oh, what? Come on, man. There we go, that's one kill. That's some unfortunate timing on her flash, man. Or, sorry, on her ultimate, right as I flashed. Anyway, that was really gritty, because I shouldn't use my flash just to kill people like that. Each individual kill, especially on the people that are worth, like, less than 200 gold, is just not that impactful right now. Compared to saving my flash for surviving. Especially in a challenge where the one goal is to survive. Well, and win. Win and survive. But I've got enough kills to win. I just need to survive. Oh, she got stunned. Oh my god, thank god that wall didn't uh, put me on the wrong side, because I easily could have died there. That was ballsy. For some reason, I thought that she didn't have wall. My bad. I can't place yet, really. Oh man, close. <laughs> Drake is up, who can take that? Smooth. Raptor's almost up too, I'm gonna take those. Beautiful. Now let's take this. Alright, now I can base. Oh, no, wait, no, I can't. Hmm. Better 
Right, you need an extra longsword for it to cost 1450. Actually, I can go for red buff and take raptors too, so I can let Vagar take this melee wave by himself. There we go. Now I can get the Cerildus Grudge. So in, Lo in Loilo, because the junglers are so bad at farming and so inefficient, there just tends to be a lot of farm, a uh, lot of camps up on the map that you can take to make up for the fact that you have to share so much farm with your mid laner. That way both you and your mid laner can get some farm and your your jungler is the only one that gets kind of screwed, but you know, he wasn't doing a good too good a job of keeping the jungle perma cleared anyway, so. Plus in this case, Amumu is the like out of the three of us, he's the one that least needs to farm, right? Even if he was going AP, he still wouldn't skill as well with gold as me and Vagar. Uh, I'm scared here, man. Did a lot of damage with that ult though. Oh my god. Alright, nice one. Yeah, that ult was crazy damage. Holy shit. Wow, it actually does about a thousand damage. If you hit them, you know, if you hit it both ways. Gonna take the enemy's raptors again. Yeah, we should also look to either take a ball lane turret or or even top lane turret and also go for Baron. Just wanna shove out this wave before we uh rotate to potentially the Baron. Okay, we can just try this now. Sick. Well, that was pretty easy. Should be free. I've got cleanse. Don't need it. Legendary. How much gold have I earned from my passive this game? Oh, 2000 only. Thought it would be more. A bit disappointing. Boom. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I just fucking assassinated her from across the map. Oh my god, that damage is disgusting. I think my next item would be Yomu's. If the game goes on, we'll see. Uh, Nautilus. I shall try and cancel her ult with my E. Didn't quite work out though. Okay. Can't quite kill. I'm gonna prioritize the Raptors over the middle end with. Because this way I'm just constantly denying gold and XP from them. Okay, I guess I'll base for Yomus. Actually, how much crit do I have? Nah. Wait, no, I could get Infinity Edge. Holy shit, okay. Wow, this is gonna be so much damage. God damn. I suppose Yomus would be fine, but since I got the gold for it, I'll just grab Infinity Edge. <clears throat> I 
You can also go for the strike. Because I don't have enough AD. Oh, this team was taking red buff. Okay, I think eventually my E will just one-shot casters, but we're not at that point yet. No following these footsteps. An ally has been slain. Hmm. We didn't really get much done with that Baron buff, I gotta say. And Anivia is very good at stalling out games. Or she was when she was alive. Rest in peace. And even my damage on the turrets is insane. Okay, she's just trolling again. What? <laughs> what are we gonna do with that, buddy? I mean... There we go. Man. Your team has destroyed an inhibitor. Come on, come on. Oh, I didn't execute. Damn, that must have been close. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, like, they're not dying at the same time, so there's just no chance of a Penta. This has been my problem every game that I try and go for the Penta. They're just never grouped as five. They never fight at the same time. <laughs> okay, Jevin, Jevin has to be the ultimate Penta champion if you're this fed. Because goddamn, this would be such easy Panthers. Like, at least kill secures for myself instead of it like, going to my teammates. Oh my god! No, no, don't kill me! Don't kill me! End! Guys! End! End the game! End the game! Don't end the game. Doesn't matter. I'm all good. Not even fucking close. Boy, you guys thought I was really worried there? <laughs> nah, I'm just a good actor. My god, what was that, bro? They both just flashed. Or at least Fiora flashed on me when I wasn't expecting it. <sighs> that is certainly a lot of damage. My god. <laughs> Man, we've had way too many close calls right at the very end of a game. Alright, plus 17 LP. No bad. R2, 37 LP. We're making progress. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, if you want to see more content like this in the future, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later, gamers.